Hello, my name's Molly and I'm 12 years old and I've had emetophobia since I was 7. I thought it started off when I was 7 years old when everyone had the bug in the house and since that night I kept asking, will I be okay, will I be okay, will I be okay. But now I know that it was just my thoughts and my imagination which kept my emetophobia going. I've had many treatments in the past such as CAMS, hypnotherapy, but they never seemed to work. Over the years up until street in my secondary school, my emetophobia got worse and worse. Year 7 was a big, big issue. I kept going out of classes, missing loads of lessons, and I wasn't really keeping up with my schoolwork. And when I was sick, I would try and stop myself from being sick, which wasn't very good, because when my friend came round, um, I was ill, but I wasn't letting myself be ill, because I was too scared. This summer which was the summer before year eight, was quite bad at times because I kept having these panic attacks all the time. And when I was on a holiday, um, the panic attacks still happened then and it wasn't very a good summer. Panic attacks, like, they stopped me doing stuff. I was scared of eating, scared of sleeping. I would have to be propped up and I just wouldn't go to sleep at all. And I was walking around the bedroom and I was panicking and it was just a mess. Start of year eight was very, 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 very just the worst it's ever been. Um, I was in and I was out of classes um, and at my worst I was just crying all the time, not caring, just not caring about anything but myself. I was just a complete mess, I was just, looked, no, I had no energy or anything, I just felt ill all the time, and it was just my anxiety. Home at night when I had my um, anxiety, I would just walk, walk around my bedroom until, well, I would just walk around there for hours and hours and hours on then because I was too scared to lie down just in case I was sick. In year 8, all the teachers decided that it was too bad, so I got a reduced timetable, which meant that I only did two hours a day at school. But when that started, I only had to do it in a half an hour of school, and that. And I was walking around all school, just outside in the cold. Um, so, yeah, and, and there was a room called Respite, which is a room where people go to sort of calm down and everything and the lady there was very helpful and she helped me get through all of this. And um, then how I felt about life I felt it was just absolutely rubbish and I just didn't want to live anymore because I just felt horrible. And then my mum decided to get the book and she contacted Rob and I got with Cara. My first session didn't go down too well because I was standing up for it the whole time and I wasn't very concentrating, so which I wasn't very good. Each session we did a s each session my mum written down notes and she printed them off and stuck them all around the house so everyone could everyone could see them and they could all help me. After first session with Cara I managed to stay inside. Um, which was a big achievement for me. It doesn't sound very big, but it was a very big achievement for me. I managed to stay inside for two hours. Then I learned about my self-esteem, and learned how to make it high, my locus of control, my thinking styles, how I think. I did my positive book, which I got told to read them four or five times a day, and write new positives in because they are supposed to help. And they did help, sorry. Social anxiety um, is about like how you think other people feel of you. All these stuff got better and better as the sessions go up get on. By November I was back in classes and I and I just felt normal and I was with all my friends again, learning, messing around and everything, and I just felt amazing. Thank you, Cara, thank you, Rob. Now I am back to normal. Sleeping, eating with my friends, going back to school, just enjoying myself and loving life at the moment. Okay, thank you. Bye.